We're at the Key West International Airport. It's the smallest airport I've ever been to. And we're gonna pick up my dad so he can come and hang out with us for the week. And we're really excited. So let's go see what we can, oh. So here's the story of the wandering naps. We are a family of five from Texas. Chris and Jolene met in second grade and began dating our freshman year of high school. We got married in college, moved to Texas, had three boys, fell in love with the water, sold everything to travel the Caribbean. Join us on our adventure. Stopped and ate lunch after I picked my dad up from the airport. There's a really cool park right here at Higgs Beach Park. We're gonna let the boys play at the park while we hang out at the beach. Alright, Dad, you ready to go for a tour now? We're gonna tour Key West. Follow that. Every time you come to the southernmost point, there is a long line here. And if you decide not to wait in the line, I personally just kind of stand in the street here and take a selfie. Once a year, Founders Park here in Isla Morana, uh, Florida has a flea market. And it's massive and crazy. There are hundreds and hundreds of booths and uh, people selling stuff. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna take a walk around and it goes all the way to the beach. It's crazy. Her grandpa, which is your great grandpa, bought this reel, which is this right here. Brand new, probably 60 years ago. 50, 60 years ago, okay? It's a really, really nice reel right here. See this? Really good quality. So, grandpa, your grandpa, found that at his workshop. And remember, great grandpa died like 10 years ago. And he brought it down for us. So we just went up to this fair, and there's this really nice, brand new, modern fishing poles. We took it up there and asked them for a pole that would match well with this reel. And look at what they gave me. Isn't that pretty? Does it look like it works awesome? Yeah, can you go on the thing you go fishing? <laughs> Not right now, but I wanted you to see. So this, every time you use this, I want you to remember Great Grandpa Cook, okay? Which is Grandma's dad. Isn't that neat looking? Yeah, I can't reel it. You gotta let it out. So this is not a casting reel, this is not a, a spinner reel. Yeah, so this is for bottom fishing, remember? Yeah. And then he, they gave us, because they were so impressed with this old reel that was so cool, they gave us this pole for free. And we're going to put your other reel that Grandpa bought us on here. Yeah. Cool? So we got two new fishing poles today. How neat is that? Good. Fishing poles from Conley Fishing. Thank you, Mr. Brian. Thank you, Mr. Todd. So Brian and Todd are the uh, brothers that that own and operate uh, Conley Fishing. They were very informative. They gave us, uh, spent a good, what, 15, 20 minutes, minutes with us. Uh, helped us talk, learn about the different poles and why we would use each one. And then uh, love the enthusiasm, not just from them, but all their employees. They had, what, six guys there? <laughs> and they couldn't believe uh, this old reel. And um, so it was cool. It was neat to see the guys uh, excited about something that they haven't seen before because you know they, they're in it every day so uh, thank you again thank you Brian thank you Todd at Conley Fishing um, check them out uh, Facebook Conley Fishing or ConleyFishing.com these last few weeks just flew by with friends and family visiting 
We went to a ton of fun places while my dad was here, and we saw a lot of great things. My dad had never been to the Gulf of Mexico before or the Keys, so of course we had to take him to Robbie's Marina and feed the tarpon. My dad sure got a great experience about that. They'll jump for you. It's hard with the net to see the fish. What do I use to wipe off my foot? Your foot? What happened to your foot? Oh, gross. Ew. He got pelican poop on his foot. We can wash it. Oh, oh, he got your hand. <laughs> hey, I got that on film though. Yeah, I'm feeding the sh feeding the fish. <laughs> Caleb, careful! Don't knock over the buckets. I'm pumping gas. Jolene had to show me how. All good things come to an end. It's time to say goodbye to my dad. Bye, bye, daughter, child. You have fun. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Time to get rid of Grandpa. What was your favorite thing? Uh, riding with kids in the car. Oh, right. Yeah. Nice. Getting used to living on the boat. Love getting used to living on the boat. <laughs> um, the weather, the travel. I'll do it. It's all good? It's all good. Hey, you can't stop now or you'll hit your head. No, his butt will black. Oh my gosh, good workout. Good workout. Woohoo! Yay! Alright, babe, you're not Carter. Oh my gosh, look at him, monkey man. Heather, you might recognize her from when we went to Oregon. Her and her husband Garrett came down to visit us in the Keys, and right now we're at the Schooner Bar in Key West with Chase, clearly. We loved having our friends visit us, but of course, since two more people are on the boat, what better time than to have our toilet break? Bored in the <laughs> Caleb, right here. So what just happened is we heard water running instantly. We turned the water off. We heard stuff running in the bathroom. We ran
we took our Key West tour to a driving tour. So we're driving through town, Little White House, Hemingway's house. Mile zero. Mile zero. Thanks for your help. Is it all fixed? So what happened? So we go here. Drain hose goes from the, I'm sorry, not the drain hose, it's the water supply hose. So when you flush the toilet, water comes here, goes to the toilet, and then it goes down the big... The and that was all it was? Yeah, there's just a leak. The old one was real bad. You'd squish it, and it would flex, which it shouldn't, and then it'd spring a leak. So it, just, it was just a worn out hose. I bought enough hose for this, which is like four and a half feet, and then I bought another four and a half feet. So if I have to do this again, I've got to hose We've been cruising the ICW with our friends for like three hours. All because we wanted to see this right here. We have dolphins on this side. Come on. And Heather is just like loving it. We also have a whole nother pot of dolphins on this side. Look at that. Come on, come on, jump! Woo! So we are super excited. We've got like seven or eight dolphins following us. I cannot wait to see these pictures. Carter, can you put your head down? Ah, that's a good picture. We had so much fun visiting with friends and family this last month. Thank you for enduring boat life and a week of all the adventures that we had. We love and miss all of our friends and family, but we know that we are learning a new way of life, one that we will cherish together forever.